the coast of Florida, January 2015. The crew of a Navy F-18 fighter jet fly into restricted airspace and encounter an airborne object directly in their flight path. They aim their forward-looking infrared camera at the object and capture it in flight. F-18s were chasing this thing, and they couldn't catch it. The UAP is doing things that modern aerodynamic vehicles can't do. The pilots in pursuit of the unidentified craft observed that it performed unusual maneuvers, unlike any military aircraft they had ever witnessed, and all while flying at high velocities. One of the impressive aspects of it is that it's moving against the wind, and you can hear the pilots say this. Oh, they did? My gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. It doesn't lose speed, and it rotates mechanically against the wind. This gimbal footage is one of the rare pieces of physical evidence that is corroborated directly by individuals who are out there on the East Coast documenting these things. It is highly impressive. Now, modern-day aircraft can yaw and pitch, and they can roll, but they can't simply pitch straight up and continue to move forward into the line of flight. This thing does that. It's moving extremely fast, and it's accelerating much faster than the F-18s can. So that in itself is a feat that mankind has yet to accomplish. We tried to vet this for a long time. What's uncomfortable is that we haven't figured it out, that we don't know whose technology this is. If you can't identify someone that's far more advanced than you technologically, Houston, we have a problem. Navy video of the incredible encounter was made public in December 2017. And the object was dubbed Gimbal due to its ability to rotate on an axis. But for ancient astronaut theorists, just as intriguing as the way it moves is the object shape. The craft itself is an acorn-shaped craft. Immediately, that's reminiscent of what the ancient Indian text described as the Vamana, which were acorn-shaped craft. In the Mahabharata and in many of the ancient Vedic texts, they speak about the so-called Vimanas. The Vimanas were flying vehicles with which to reach the celestial realm. In the ancient Sanskrit epics of India, there are highly detailed descriptions of the Vimana, which carried the gods and other important figures through the sky, and sometimes to other planets. The acorn-shaped craft were even incorporated at the very top of many Hindu temples. And some researchers believe they also inspired similar Buddhist structures called stupa. If we go to Indonesia and look at Borobudur, where we have 194 stupas sitting in concentric circles, each stupa, in my opinion, represents a type of flying craft because stupa actually means celestial chariot or a way with which to reach the celestial realm. And they are in the shape of the so-called vimanas. Often the vimana were described as war machines, armed with incredible weapons. There are tales of flying craft that could defy gravity and fly at extraordinary speeds that defy the laws of physics. These were military in usage, had powerful engines and powerful weapons. In these battles, missiles would fire that could wipe out cities. These were the earliest stories we have of flying military craft. In the Indian text, the Vimanas are the chariots or craft of the gods. They were clearly a method of transportation that could take the gods from place to place, country to country, or even to other planets. They're sometimes described as bright clouds. Some of them are seven stories tall. <laughs> 